And right then, I promised myself I would never fly commercial again. Thank you. Mom, it's not even 12 o'clock. It's 12.05. Bobby, can I ask you something? Do you love your job? Yes, I do. What do you do exactly? He inherits money. I could do that. I bet I'd be good at that. There's a hiring freeze at the department, but we're working through it, right? We'll figure something out. There's always hope. There's never hope. Sure there is. There's never hope. I wish I drank. Is it wonderful? Yeah, it's pretty great. Oh, you know who asked about you? Paul Buchanan. Mm. No, thank you. Sweetheart, I really don't think you can be so picky. You're not getting any younger, you know. <laughs> Who's Paul Buchanan? He lives in the big house up the road. The big house? This isn't the big house? He's always had a thing for Natalie. He's proposed to her twice. No, he's a creep. He's a spoiled, arrogant, creepy creep who's just, he's very creepy. No, no, he's a good man. You know, that poor boy. He's been through so much. I mean, you heard what happened with his parents. It's the most incredible story. They died within 10 minutes of each other. Within 10 minutes? Yeah, it was about a year ago. Ralph and Camilla, that's Paul's stepmother, were driving home and they were in his little sports car, that, that one he brought over from England. It was a Morgan, a beautiful yeah. machine. Yeah. Ralph collected antique cars. Yeah, well, anyway, they never made it home. It was about 8.30 at night and they were coming around that dangerous curve at the end of Sweeney Road, the one with the big rock. I, I think we passed it and we were coming up. Isn't there a sign? That says, slow down? Obviously, Ralph ignored that because the police said he had to be doing at least 80. Let's say, let's say that this, this is the car, all right? Now, this is Ralph and this is Camilla. Now, they come speeding around that curve. <coughs> they hit the guardrail and Camilla wasn't wearing a seatbelt, goes flying and, you know, <coughs> hits her head on the big rock. Honey, don't use the pate. That is not pate, darling. That is the big rock. And then Ralph calls 911 on his cell. Oh, it gets worse. He had a heart attack right there on the phone. While he's calling for help. So the road curves to the right, and she was thrown from the car? Yeah, like, like this. Yeah. <clears throat> but if it was a Morgan, uh, a British car, then then she would have been sitting on the left. So how did she hit the rock? You know what else? I remember driving with Mr. Buchanan. He was the pokiest driver in the world. We used to tease him about it. He would not start the car unless you fastened your seatbelt. You want to check it out? Ah, it's probably nothing. No, let's check it out. Natalie, it doesn't matter. I'm not a detective anymore. Daddy, give me your wallet. Uh-oh. Brings back memories, doesn't it? Yes. OK, here you go. I am hiring you. We are checking it out. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. Seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out.